Hey everyone. Well, hopefully you can see out my windshield here. I'm just heading up to Snowbird Ski Resort right now. Cruising up big cottonwood. There's a little cottonwood. I get I get these canyons messed up. Yeah, I got my little lawnmower car here. Racing up to, oh, I guess maybe Snowbird Ski Resort. Maybe do a U-turn at Alta, which is a ski resort right above Snowbird. Right now it's the end of April. What is it, 2022? Yeah, it's like 70 something degrees right now, so it's nice up here. Yeah, if you're a snowboarder or ski skier, you know, the season's over. Yeah, we need the water anyway, so all the snow melt. Fill up our lakes, hopefully. But this is a fun drive, you know, if you live in Salt Lake City. take more than really 15 20 minutes to be in the valley of Salt Lake and get up to you know this canyon brings you up to Snowbird and Alta it's such a nice day I might cruise over to Brighton Ski Resort in Solitude as well so both canyons one's Little Cottonwood and one is Big Cottonwood this is Little Cottonwood then of course we have Park City and Deer Valley and a whole bunch of other ski resorts but I'm excited, this is gonna be all nice and green soon. I like summer in Utah, it's a lot of fun up here. You can't stay overnight yet, so if you're watching my video as I'm here filming, you can come up here and hang out all day, but you can't stay overnight yet. You know, there's still a lot of snow up here, and if it melts and runs over your tent while you're sleeping, that can be kind of a bad thing. But yeah, just come up here in the morning, stay all day, it doesn't even get dark till like, you know, it's 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 going on the summer hours where it doesn't even get dark until later at night so you can have a lot of fun up here in April but yeah in about another month is when they open up the canyons and you can start camping and doing overnight barbecues or bringing an RV up yeah I thought I'd take a little quick trip up to um, Snowbird it's kind of nice it's fun. They have Oktoberfest up here and a lot of other cool things. I just like to drive, to be honest. I could drive all day in these canyons. Yeah, you know, like 30 to 45 miles an hour. It's fun just to squiggle and squaggle through these curvy roads. You can do a lot of biking, too. You know, you'll see a lot of bicycles. And, of course, motorcycles as well. I'm way out of shape. If I try to ride my bike up here, you know, bicycle, I'm going to pass out. I can maybe go up the hill and go down on my bicycle, but yeah, pedaling up this thing, I think I'd, I'd have a heart attack by the time I got halfway up. In the daytime, you won't see as many animals, but if you're up here later at night, you got to kind of watch it. There's a lot of deer and they just go to the roads looking for, you know, things to snack on or drink. But I've been up here many times late at night. And, yeah, you might have two, three deer or more hanging out just on the side of the road because somebody might have had some food or something. But in the daytime, you shouldn't have a problem. We're a little half, a little over halfway up. Yeah, I got my top down. Yeah, it's like 65, almost 70 degrees today. And man, I'll take that any day going into May. But it'll get hotter and heck up here as well in the summertime so but a lot of 
turn offs here if you want to come up you know just pull over you know if you do have an rv or you want to camp or just go hiking tons of turn offs and campgrounds up here and girls jogging down in pink it's always a good color or yellow you know you want to be seen if you're gonna be jogging don't wear like tan or dark green they'll blend in probably too darn good but i'll film up here in the summer too so if you're watching this video it, we're coming out of winter so there's a lot of brown and a lot of white up here but yeah once it turns summertime everything gets like nice and green tons of water and stuff it looks dramatically different but today there's like zero clouds and god it's just so nice up here today this is killer weather all right uh snowbird is the first ski resort coming up It's pretty big too. You can come up here in the summer as well. You know, and just you know, hang out. The rates for rooms are like dramatically cheaper. So if there's like a badass room up here for like three, four hundred bucks, it's like way cheaper than that. You know, like 179 bucks or something, or even cheaper if you want like a smaller room. But sometimes it's fun to come up here in the summer and just get a badass room and hot tub and yeah, just mess around. There's a tram up here too. You guys might have heard of the Snowbird tram. All right, well, Snowbird is coming up right here. I'll probably just pull off right here, I guess. I just went to 7-Eleven. All their drinks, any size, are all only a dollar. So I've been getting those big, giant, super big gulps. And then what I do is I put vanilla iced coffee, the sugar-free ones, or I get like their coffees and mix just mix them up just make massive drinks and uh yeah for, well here can you guys see what's funny is do you see the straw the straw melted because i had ice i had scalding hot coffee in one and then i had iced coffee in the other and i put the straw in the hot one hot and it melted the straw all the way together so i just got to basically throw the straw away all right this is the lower um parking lot you know, I'll just take you around. Maybe it's open. Let's see, this time of day. I mean, you can still mess around, believe it or not. Um, I'll film, you know, I'm going to get out here and just kind of mess off a little bit. I'll show you some of the ski resorts. If you guys see, well, and I'm just going to park right here real quick. Have me a little drink. All right, let's go for a little cruise. Cruise around. I got... Okay, can you see my, look at the straw. It's completely, <laughs> it melted. I was trying to take a drink out of it earlier and yeah, don't put a straw in scalding hot coffee. But if you have yourself a badass iced coffee and uh, energy drink, by all means. Okay, I'm gonna end this video since I'm going on like eight, 10 minutes long. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna hike down there real quick and film some people skiing. All right, I'm at, uh, let's see, Snowbird Ski Resort. Um, I don't even know what it is. It's like April 20th, I think. What is it, 420? People are probably smoking pot like crazy today. Uh, 2022. All right, I'll be back uh, next video.